Hi, this is Ron Mitchube. Today on Hunter Call of the Wild, we're at New England Mountains. That's why I've got early access and I'm making a brand new moose hunting guide for this location. Because a lot of you are going to be wanting to hunt the Great One, the new map which comes out on December the 6th. You're going to be wanting to hunt moose here and it's a great location so let's go over some of the locations now mainly it's a river system on new england mountains as you can see there's a river that runs sort of all around the reserve and then there's a bit that cuts through the middle now all of those locations are absolutely stuffed with moose and by stuffed i mean there's like hundreds of them in these river systems so generally what i do is i go to the top right hand corner and then I go along the top river system first, which I class as the best area for moose. Um, some of these river systems are slightly deeper than others, and then some are slightly shallower. So it's quite hard on some of the areas to sort of travel down them. So I generally walk in the middle of the rivers where I can, or on the sides where it's too deep. But you go all the way down here. I'll zoom in so you can see some of the need zones. But... A lot of areas there's like four or five need zones and then there's like a gap and then you get a load more again and it's like that all the way down but the top one seems to be very full of moose there's a lot in the other areas but there's a lot on this top one especially so we're hunting during the drinking need zone time which is for moose 12 till 4 in the afternoon which is good for visibility and also because there's a lot of moose in this area so you can shoot a lot of them um, at one time as I was saying, they're in sort of pockets. So you might get five or six groups and then nothing for a few hundred meters and then same again. And it sort of does that all the way around the river system. The middle bit is shallower. So it's actually easier to walk down. Um, so it shouldn't take you as long. But I generally break it up, the river system, into sort of five parts. The top bit, the left side, the right side, the bottom bit, and then the middle. It takes about an hour to sort of walk down them if, you, if you're going steady. So... You're in for a long ride, but you're gonna have plenty of action. As you can see, loads of need zones, so you can be busy everywhere you go. Weapon-wise, I'd actually use a 338. A lot of people will use a 300. As I was saying in my first video, I think they should add a five mag to the 338 or create another weapon pack with big rifles, big guns, um, just for moose grinding. If they added a five mag, Ra um, mag for the 338 imagine that it'd be like the perfect moose grinding gun and um, so i hope they do that in a later weapon pack but use whatever weapon you want to use drop in the comments what you're going to use i'll use a 338 i'll probably carry the new muzzle loader as well the kerman inline muzzle loader because it is quite powerful but you only get one shot and there's a reload so what i'd do is i'd shoot one and then swap to the 338 um, maybe straight away if there's lots of moose in the area this pond is very good a lot of these bigger ponds have got moose around them and uh, like i said we'll go over in a minute exactly where moose are and where moose aren't i've checked every bit of water on this reserve <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how this reserve stacks up against other moose reserves when hunting for the great one moose um i've got a feeling this will be really good but I think Reventuli Coast might actually be the best moose grinding area for the Great One Moose. Um, just because it's really open, flat, and it's got lots of open lakes, and there's a lot of moose. Um, this has got a lot of moose in the river systems, but it takes you time to go down the uh, river systems. So for actual speed and efficiency grinding the Great One, I think Reventuli Coast might be the best. Maybe Medved? That could be a surprise. I haven't tried them yet, so we'll have to see about it. So here you go. This is what you wanted to know. Where are the moose? So everywhere that's white on the map, that's where you'll find moose. And where's red, you won't. You will find some moose around some of those red areas, but I didn't find any drink zones at those areas. These are all drink need zone areas. And most people will hunt that sort of need zone time. So... I'm just showing you it may change this is initial and in the hunter call of wild sometimes initially a place can start at good or have animals at but that can change when you're grinding for a great one um zones can swap 
and go location so some of them may change but initially that's my findings everywhere that's white i've found need zones and i've got the need zones for all of them but the ones that are red i haven't got no drinking need zones but i have seen moose around there so whether they're resting near there or feeding near there i'm just doing the drink need zone times for moose and where i've found them i've also got my best locations where i like to hunt moose and we're going to look at that next but uh, what are you thinking? Did you see my first video? Check that out if you haven't already seen it. I've gone over all the need zone times for all species on New England mountains and locations of where to find those 15 species on New England mountains. So if you're struggling or want to know before you start to hunt on New England mountains, that's why I've done it. Check that video out. So these are my favorite locations marked in yellow. Now the reason is, as I was saying before, is because they're easy to hunt and they're not as time consuming as the left bottom river or right river. Some of the other ponds have got moose, as you can see, but generally that big one has got about eight to 10 moose on it. The middle river is shallower, so you can go down there quicker. And the top one seems to have a bit more moose than the other areas. So I'd probably do those and then start again. But you could just walk the whole river system if you want and just take all day doing it but um, it is going to take you probably four or five hours to do that so i'm just letting you know so there's my moose guide for new england mountains the map releases on december the 6th i hope you have a lot of fun i'm ron mctube we're making the moose guide for new england mountains please subscribe to future channels and thanks for watching bye bye